Look, y'all can tell me that I'm crazy all you want, but I mean, it's clear that I'm crazy. Hello, friends. Welcome to Experimental Tuesday. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I like, I like experimenting a lot. So, I had an idea. Uh, because this is an, is an experiment, I do not know whether it is a good idea. But, I'm going to try it and see how it goes. These are metal cutting dies. Um, and they are very thin metal pieces that have a raised edge on them. And when you run these through something like a big shot, um, with a piece of paper, it cuts out the image from the paper. Okay. Uh, for those of you that are current crafters, you're sitting there shaking your head going, yes, we know, bitch, get on with it. Anyway, um... <laughs> I have quite a few here. Um, some of these are from uh, Cat Scrappiness. I've got some Tim Holtz dies, some Gina Marie. I've got some cheap dies from probably AliExpress. I've got some tiny little dies, like these little um, headstones. Gina Marie, and then Dynamic. Oh, MFT stamps. Um, if this is the same girl I'm thinking of, I really enjoyed her stuff, but she closed down shop. I think that's who I'm thinking of. No, this is my favorite things. Okay, so never mind. Not the girl I'm thinking of, but I still really like their stuff. Here's my idea. Uh, you take the dies, and if they are solid backed, you don't have to worry about putting any tape or anything on them. But if they are not solid backed, like for instance, the little chick, rabbit, egg, butterflies, you would put tape on the back, fill them with resin, UV resin um, is what I'm going to use, um, mostly to see if this even works. I think if it works, it'll probably work really well with regular resin as well, two-part epoxy. And then once it's cured, you just remove the dye from the resin. And then you've got kind of like I wanted to do with the stencils uh, a week ago, two weeks ago, three, I don't know. Some, some time ago in the past. Um, and yeah, and I was thinking it would be kind of cool. I don't have any flower dyes that aren't extremely intricate. And by intricate, I mean... They have a lot of, like, holes in them. Not these tiny little holes, but, you know. Um, it would be really hard to put resin on that, I think. Um, but I know that there are flower dyes kind of similar to these, um, this fencing dye, right? I believe that there are flower dyes out there that you would cut it out and then roll it up to make a flower. I have the Tim Holtz ones, but um, that's obviously one of those bigger, it's a thicker die, and it's got um, cushioning in there, so there's no way to use that with UV resin. So, let's stop talking, Megan. Let's just go ahead and get started. This will probably be a shorter video. Um... I'm not planning to do all of these, obviously. I just kind of grabbed a little assortment to see what I um, what I wanted to try. And I think the last time that I used my blue tape, I was like, where the heck is my blue tape? And then I found it right in front of me after searching. And now it is gone again. And I don't know where it went. This place really is a disaster. If someone wants to come help me organize, that would be great. Where on earth did I put it? Oh my God. Somebody out there is going to make a compilation of all the times that I've said, where is blank? <laughs> oh, where is this? Where is that? What did I do with it? <sighs> 
I'm so frustrated with myself, you guys. All right, well, let's pause the video and see if we can find it. Look, it was right where I knew it was all along. <laughs> Do you ever tell yourself that lie? I knew where, where, where it was. I didn't need to search for it for five minutes. Mm -mm. Okay. Um, trying to get these out. There we go. So, I definitely want to try... I want to try the chick, I think. And maybe the bottom of the egg. I think that would look cute. Oh, I need my little snippers. There they are. Okay. So let's snip these apart. And because they're super thin metal, it's so easy to snip them apart. Okay, so that's the big one. Let's do the little one. And then let's cut off this extra metal. So that way we don't stab ourselves with it. Oh my god. Here I was touting how easy it is to, oh, there we go. <laughs> Just must have had it in the wrong place. Okay, so that and then the baby chick. Chick, chick. <laughs> that flew way over there. So I will have to get up and go get that. Okay, so we got those. Um, I definitely want to try those little headstones. I had brought out this um, Tim Holtz set because it comes with everything, like the trees and stuff. But I think I'm going to set that aside. I got this one. This is just an impression plate. Um, but I think I want to try like painting inside of the, um, the cloud and seeing if that could come away from it so we'll try that I'm definitely gonna try a fence because I think that would be really cool so I think that'll be good for this video and then if you guys want to see more or if I want to try more then I will just do more next time okay yeah all right so let's put my snippers away Snip, snip. If I can. There we go. All right. <clears throat> Let's take these off. I always put my gloves on prematurely before I even need to touch the resin. And then I've always got to touch things like the tape, you know. All right. So, actually, I'm going to put you guys on pause while I get everything kind of set up. And ready to UV resin. I'm going to go get the little chick that decided to fly away. And I'll be right back. Hang tight. Okay. I got everything set up. I've got both cameras recording. Because I'm probably going to use this audio with that video. So if it's a little out of sync, my sincerest apologies. Okay. Let's put our gloves back on. Safety first. Your PPE is very important. It doesn't make a nice snapping sound. <sighs> okay. Total boat UV resin. <sighs> I'm wondering what I should start with first. I think I'll start with a cloud. Okay. 
Let's hit that with some heat to pop the bubbles. Apologies. What happened? I don't know what happened. Maybe my sound cut out. Okay. Now, let's cure that. This is a test. This is only a test. <laughs> I want to see if the resin will separate from the metal. If that makes sense. That's why I'm starting with this one. I can hear the resin curing, like it's crinkling in. I didn't remove the metal from its backer card because I didn't feel like I needed to. Okay, that's cured. Moment of truth. Oh, look at that. I'm afraid to touch it. Oh. And there we have a very small, almost unrecognizable cloud. Hopefully you guys are seeing that in my phone camera. Wow. Okay. So, the test works. It was definitely easily separated from the dye. Okay. <clears throat> Let's try the chick. And I'm filling this up all the way to the cutting edge, if that makes sense. Hopefully you guys are going to be able to see that. And then I'm going to use some micro brushes as well to fill in the little beak and the feet. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Thank you. All right. Um, oh, they're under, they're under my new molds. Shh. Don't tell anyone that I bought more. <laughs> okay. Just going to pick up a little bit of this and hopefully we can get it into the feet. We can. Yay. Okay. Got it into the beak. Okay. All right. So let's cure that. I think I've got enough resin everywhere. Yep. So we'll cure that. Just one second. I'm going to have to um, talk to my sister Kat about her dyes and, and look at her shop and see if she has any flower dyes that I could use. I'm sure she does. Um, what I was thinking with flower dyes, like I was explaining where, you know, you kind of roll them up, is I was thinking that maybe you could like par bake them so that they're still kind of, or... Um, yeah, like not the UV ones because UV, I think, cures far too quickly to be manipulated in a meaningful way, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, like uh, if you use a, a regular two-part epoxy, I'm thinking that um, you might be able to 
like cure it for until it's malleable but still solid and then you can um like roll it up into a resin flower i think that would look really cool these pieces if you were um, a crafter of mixed media, of cards, of scrapbooking, that kind of stuff. These would be kind of cool if you could make some in whatever color you wish. Um, and let me get that out of there. Um, yeah, make it, make them into whatever color you wish. And then you can use these on hopefully on your scrapbooks and your cards and stuff. I'm doing these in clear for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's a lot easier than mixing up a bunch of colors. And number two, um, the UV resin doesn't work very well with um, mica powders. It works great with alcohol inks, but it has to be um, translucent or transparent for the light to shine through it to cure uh, both of, you know, all of it. So that's why I'm doing this in clear. Plus it's experiment time. We don't waste good supplies on experiment time. Well, except for the resin. <laughs> Which, by the way, I'm going to have to order some more UV resin soon. I go through this stuff like it's freaking, like it's cake flour to a baker, I swear. Okay. I mean, just think, if you're a resin artist and you're, you're doing a Halloween tray and you want to add in some 3D elements of, uh, you know, fencing and ghosts and ghouls and headstones, tombstones whatever you want to call these things, you know, this would be so easy. You just, as you're making your other pieces, you just set aside a little bit of resin and um, make a few of these pieces each round. And then you don't have to worry about it. I mean, we all have extra resin left over after, after we make resin pieces, right? So it would be so easy to do that kind of stuff. And then you could layer it into your tray or your large letter um, initial kind of thing. You know what I mean? Am I wrong here? <laughs> I'm not wrong. I know I'm not wrong. But um, yeah, like this would be really, really cool. And actually, that's kind of why I wanted to try this is because I'm thinking about for this Halloween, I want to do like um, a spooky scene with some 3D resin elements in there in the tray. And it wouldn't be a tray so much as it would be like a display piece, like something you would hang on the wall. I think that would be really cool. Okay, I'm going to scooch you guys that way. Okay. This is the one that I'm worried about. <laughs> Mostly because there's so many little slats. Um, but we're going to give this a try, yeah? But I just love the texture on this. On this um, particular fence. Because it's very much a wood grain fence. Uh, as if you couldn't tell. But, um... Yeah, so I'm going to try to do this without making a huge mess. I'm not putting very much on this one. Because um, 
Well, number one, if it doesn't work, I don't want to waste it. But, um, number two, I don't want to accidentally fill in these little empty spots, you know, in between each, uh, plank. So, all right, I'm going to spread this out. And, um, while I'm doing that, I'm going to speed this up for you guys and add some music to the background so that you guys aren't so bored watching me painstakingly do this. But I got to say, before I, editing Megan, don't speed me up yet. And <laughs> before I speed this up, this is not hard at all. Um, this is actually quite easy to spread out and fill in. And the little lip on the die, the metal die, really helps with that. Um, helps keep everything in. Okay. You can speed it up now, Megan. Thanks. Yes, I'm watching TikTok and what? <laughs> Had an idea, a real quick idea while the um, the other ones are curing under my light. Also, thank you for letting me take a pee break. I got some mica powder. Can we paint it? Will it paint? Um, yeah, I mean, I can see it. Maybe I need a darker color. Let's grab a darker color. Just for experimental purposes. Ugh. Let's see. How now, brown cloud? <laughs> Coffee. Flavored coffee. Okay. Let's try that. <laughs> okay. Let's try. I'm sure it would help if I actually had some in there. Jesus Christ. I am... The most unprepared person. I do not know why you guys even watch me. <clears throat> it's to laugh at me, I'm sure. All right. Oh, it was right. Lord. One of these days, folks, I moved into my house in 2018, and one of these days I will unpack my brain. It still is not unpacked yet. It's missing in action. Okay. Okay. 
I'm just, I'm, I'm filling up my spray bottle. Okay. I just want, I just want a little bit. There we go. All right. Let's try this again. we go. That's better. I mean, it's not the most beautiful cloud in the sky. <laughs> it's a little streaky. Which is fine. Not every single cloud has to be perfect. But again, this is just experiment time and I wanted to see if you could do this clear and then paint it. And yes, you can. And I'm sure most of y'all already knew that. And you've probably fast forwarded through this part, which is perfectly fine. Okay, I'm going to go grab the pieces from over there um, and, uh, and we'll demold them and see how they came out. Okay? All right, let's go. All right. Which one should we do first? Should we do these or should we do the fence? I'm on the fence about it. <laughs> okay, let's do the fence. Um, question is, how am I gonna do the fence? Let's see, I got my little pokey tool. Can I use my pokey tool to get started or will it um or will it damage it? Let's try bending it a little bit. Well, now I'm just scratching it up. go I'm trying to be real real nice and easy with it like easy breezy beautiful cover girl <laughs> oh my gosh you guys All right, Megan, don't don't count your chicks before they hatch here. <gasps> no, I broke one. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't get stuck on the tape, please. All right. Look at that, you guys. <laughs> Holy cannoli. That is so, so cool. I did break it a little bit, but that's okay. It was just stuck on one of the little, um, little holes. Let me grab some paper. Hopefully you guys can see it better that way. Oh my goodness. And it retained all of the wood texture. <gasps> Dude, this, this is, 
pretty life-changing, I think, for resin artists. Um, I have not seen any videos on this. I'm sure there have been. Um, if you know of one, please let me know. Um, but it's amazing what your mind can think of when you're just trying to go to sleep and you have ADHD. Okay. Let's do the chick. And that came out so easily. I mean, look at that. It's a clean dye. It's a clean chick. Wow. This is seriously, seriously cool, you guys. I'm not trying to toot my own horn here, but I may have just come up with a way for resin artists who used to be typical um, paper crafters to use the tools that they still have from their paper crafting life. Look. Little chicken and egg. <laughs> I mean, obviously there's bubbles in it, you know. I didn't really take that much care to, to get rid of the bubbles. Um, because again, these are just tester pieces. The only thing I'm not liking is that tape. The tape came off a little bit on the chick's butt and also on, if it'll focus, the egg. Okay. Wow. And it just, it comes right off, you guys. Let's get this one out. And that's without any kind of like mold release. I mean, it's perfect. That is so perfect. Yes, I have some alcohol ink on me. What can you do about it? Wow, what do you guys think? Okay. Am, am I cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs here, or am I on to something really big? I'm just, I'm enamored with this fence. Oh my God, where did that southern accent come from? Fence. I'm enamored with the fence. I'm a nail nerd. Wow. That is just so freaking cool. And just imagine if you had done this in like a brown alcohol ink so that all of so that it's brown like a fence but you can still see all of those lines. Let's look at the back. Very cool. Very very freaking cool. Oh. Okay, look. Here's the thing, y'all. A lot of my experiments don't <laughs> don't work out uh, as I hope they will. This is not one of those experiments. This experiment turned out fan freaking tastic. I'm so excited by it. I'm definitely going to be using um, using my dies. Probably buying more because you know I just have to buy everything that I want now. Um, which is not good for my wallet, but we don't have to tell her that. Um, stop bending paper. <laughs> this is paper from my last experiment with the um, crackle effect. Anyway, yeah. Guys, I'm, I'm floored. I'm so excited about this technique. I cannot wait to go upstairs and show my housemate how cool this is. She's gonna she's gonna flip a lid. Anyway, that's it for me today, you guys. Um, I'm I'm just ecstatic. I hope that you are too. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. It really helps out my channel. Helps me to grow. Also, if you are new, stick around by clicking the red subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications. I do crazy experiments like this all the time. Um, just ask any of the uh, 1,800 of you that are already here. 
<laughs> Most of y'all are probably like, yes, Megan, we know. Anyway, all right, I'm excited. Uh, stick around Thursday. I've got some new molds to talk about. Uh, so that'll be fun. But, um, yeah, that's it for me, you guys. Um, thank you guys so very much for watching. And, um, as always, I hope that you have a fantastic day. <laughs> Take care. I suck.